Hello, welcome back. Uh, this tutorial looks at how to add an inset map. Uh, so a map within a map to show uh, the location of where we are. Here we've got a map of um, Svalbard with some lines of graticule. Uh, there's a shape file. So what we want to do here in the item properties is, uh, first of all, when we're happy with that layer, we want to lock, all that, la lock that layer and also lock it up here. Right, that's now set. Okay. So... We can go ahead and um, go back to QJS because what we want to do, uh, the main project, so what we want to do is we want to add a customized um, projection. Say um, you want to add in a, uh, I've already got a couple here, but I'll add in a new one for you. So this is called, a, um, I'm going to call it a um, view from space and I'm going to have it centered on uh, the UK. So we can rotate that um, view from space, kind of like a ball, a globe, if you like. Um, I'm going to change that to uh, project string, string. And I'm just going to um, copy and paste um, some text here. And uh, if you want to change the um, latitude, you can do that here, or the longitude, you can do that here. So that would like the, the focus of the of the projection. Press validate, and it's valid. So view from space UK, I'm going to press OK, and now I've added that into my um, projection. So if I go into uh, projection uh, properties and now our um, coordinate reference system, if we go all the way down to the bottom now, user defined, well you can see that on there, view from space UK is um, added. We don't really need to do anything with that here, we'll change it in the um, in the layout view. But what we will want to do is add in some data that we can use to to show sort of that globe. So we don't need any of this um, this data. We can we can turn that off, and we can go back to our natural earth um, page. And okay, we might have been downloading um, graticules. If we go natural earth. Download, uh, then you know you can get vector maps um, of uh, all sorts uh, of different ones. Um, I'm here. I'll include a link for this at the bottom. But yeah, you can download like the coastline, land, ocean outline of um, um, of the world. So that comes as a zip file. So go ahead and download that, uh, and then add it to uh, unzip it add it to your project so we'll go as a vector layer and we'll add in I've got it here uh, we'll add in the land as a shape file and we'll add in we'll also add in some uh, anti as well, if you want to see those on the globe, we downloaded them from the same place. And I'm going to add in uh, 5 degrees, Graticule, okay, and um, all the other layers are turned off, so if we go back to our layout view, we can add in a new map. Um, that looks nothing like what we want for now, but that's okay because we can use the we can update the projection here. So if we hit this one here, and we go down to our user-defined coordinate system view from space, press OK, and then use this one to sort of get it to the right place. You can see we've got a nice looking. Uh, sort of globe now. Um, what we can do as well is turn off the uh, the background. You notice I've only got the land there and the sea kind of um, is see through, and that's because we don't have a layer for that. So um, we could create one. Um, let's do that. Let's go back to Q. What we'll do is we'll add in our lines of um, one degrees, and we'll just convert that to a polygon. Um, 
and then we'll be able to have that as a uh, sorry the shape file and great so we've got our graticules yeah we don't really want to show those but what we do want to do is um, convert those to uh, lines to polygons if we search for that here when we go to vector geometry lines to polygons that's our graticules one we'll save that to a file uh, yeah, why not? Grab uh, one polygon. Uh, save. Oh, I've already got one of those files. <laughs> I've rehearsed this demo. Um, B. Uh, run that. That's added to our uh, to our map. Uh, it's giving it a purple, so we can go ahead and change that to something a bit more uh, suiting, like uh, a blue for the C. Okay. Um, apply. And I want to turn the lines off. So, ah, here we go. Stroke color. I'm going to make that completely transparent. Apply. Okay. Okay, so let's go back. Oh, let's just save the project and go back to our globe. We can refresh that, see what it looks like. Ooh. You can see we have got too many lines of graticle showing, and we need to play with the order a little bit. So, classic move the sea below the land. And I've got, yeah, I want the five degree graticles. Why have I got. Uh, ah, they're showing on, um, on this layer. So, I need to change that symbology. I thought I made. Um, fill style, solid line, no pen. That's probably the easiest way of doing that. Okay. Okay, let's go back to our layout view and see what that looks like. I'm going to refresh that on there. That's better. We can uh, use that. So, look at the eye. Just use the corner of the page to just hide the sort of not so relevant part of the globe and I want it to have a smooth edge I don't want any corners because they can kind of mm, you know take your take your eye out a little bit okay uh, yeah you can play around with that but one thing I do want to show you before I leave here is just to go Let's do an overview. You can add an overview to show the location um, of a map frame, map frame one, on the, on the thing. There it is, it's added there. I'm going to make that a bit stronger so it pops out a bit more. Um, yeah, there you go. You can see it now on the, uh, on the map. Maybe you, can, you can play around with the settings for this. Um, so there we go. Do I want to? Yeah, and you can we can resize the resize that. You don't want it to be too big to distract from the map, even though it, you've put a lot of effort into it. It looks great. Let's go back to uh, to here and just tidy it up a little bit. Okay, something like that. Looks good enough to me. You can kind of see that orange box there. It shows the location. Um, it might be that you go back to 
um, Q and just actually make all these colors just a lot more subtle. Uh, sort of like your, your grays and your whites so that that doesn't stand out so much and then your orange box will really really jump out um, something like that maybe if we refresh that let's see yeah there you go okay and then change the lines of graphical color as well um, that's the thing that's really sticking out isn't it what we can do here is uh, oops um, yeah we can we can reduce the width we can change the color to well, we can change the opacity even as well uh, let's see that yeah much more subtle okay I like that hopefully that looks good in here refresh yeah that's better pops out a lot more now um, good let's see yeah there we go much better okay good job hope you enjoyed that tutorial thanks very much you can see that yeah not better good job